Hello again everyone and welcome back to The Witcher 3. We are back here at the Peller's Hut. And we have just received word that apparently we need to go and talk to the Baron about his uh, wife's miscarried child. And, uh, well, well, a miscarried child who has apparently rose from the grave and is now a botchling. Uh, and we need to lift the botchling's curse to be able to allow it to take us to where Anna, to wherever Anna and Tamara currently are. Um, so we've got an updated thing on Anna. Gail discovered that Anna's marital life had not been working out as well as she might have hoped. She had recently been pregnant but lost her child for unknown reasons shortly before her disappearance. Well, again, we did hear that... Uh, we did hear that... Um, Anna and the Baron had a fight of some kind uh, on the night of her disappearance. Well, I think it was on the night. And then all of a sudden, both of them vanished. And apparently, Anna's also had a miscarriage. So, yeah, it, it, it's not shaping up well, is it? Wolf, at all. Wise wolf. What is it the wolf needs? Folk from the village come here often. Oh, when help they need, the Pella they seek. Help with what? With the dead that come a-haunting. Peace must be made. But they must then wait for forefathers' eve. Or when an evil spirit runs wild in a homestead. Drive the spirit off, the Pella can. And if I needed, say, a love potion? Then to the witch you would be sent. <laughs> Not a matter for the Pella. Why the hell are you asking about love potions, Geralt, you psychopath? Could use a few potions. Alright, wait, well, what has this guy got to sell exactly? Um, he's got a rune. A glyph, sorry. Uh, some rune stones. Loads of diagrams. Formula. Draconid leather, which is so expensive. Um, nothing else massively exciting, really. So, yeah, we're not going to go too crazy there, I don't think. Uh, okay. Well, yeah, we don't really need to, for, for need to purchase anything at the moment. So right, so we need to read the best area to learn more about botchlings. I'm pretty sure I do have an entry on botchlings somewhere. There we go. Yeah. Right, so botchlings curse can be lifted by transforming it into a lubberkin, a guardian spirit of the hearth that watches over the family it never knew in the house it can never call home. Right. So it's weak to, I think, was that the Quen sign? Uh, no, not you. You weakened Cursed Oil and the Axie. Okay, so we can stun this botchling apparently if we do fight it. I would rather, I, I would like to lift the curse, obviously. We, we will do what we can to lift the curse. First things first, though, we need to go and speak to the Baron. About where where exactly um, his dead child's grave is. Come on now. I don't quite think you're getting the message of you know wanting to find a ch someone's child. I'm just saying. I don't think you can just hand someone a new child and they're all going to go, you know what, actually, I don't care about the one that's missing anymore. I've got a new one. I'll... I'll... Lightning strike. Oh, Whoa, shit. What the on, fuck has happened here? What's going on? Why is Cross Perch on fire? Or well, part of it's on fire. I don't think the whole thing is. I think it's one building. Is that the main building? I'm not sure if I'm not sure if that's the I'm not sure if that's his house or not. Oh god, I hope uh, I hope I hope Siri's child friend isn't in there. There's a Grilka. That's it, Roach. Come on. What the hell is going on? The Baron set the stables. The Baron set them on fire. 
All right, let's let's leave Roach here. No, let's leave Roach here. We need to actually go and check this out by ourselves. Yes, yes, I know. Oh, we need to level up as well. Sorry to just uh, interrupt this here, but um, yeah, I kind of do that. So we've got another slot to put a put a, a perk in of some description. Can I? Yeah, let's let's put a point into delusion. Might as well just apply that, I suppose. I, th I think that's the best the best one to put on there. Oh no, there's Igni. There's Igni. And there's uh Yeah, I should put Igni on. Yeah, put Igni on. Although, do we need Delusion Unlocked to be able to do the Persuasion, as in actually put in the slots or not? I'm not sure. We'll leave it off for now. Anyway, more pressing matters. A fucking cat. Stop looking at random things. Well, the soldiers don't seem too bothered, bothered about the fact that everything's set on fire right now. Oswin. Where's Oswin? Anyone seen him? I believe I saw him heading to the stable. What? Fire. You blind? Nobody willing to put it out? Ain't that simple. Most are afraid. Baron flies into a rage. He takes no prisoners. My brother's in the stable. We've got to save him. He'll burn alive. Him and the horses. I'll try, yeah. See what I can do. Hurry now, quick! Sa save people first. Save the stable, handle the horses trapped in the burning stable. I'm not. I'm not. I'll, I'll fucking. De I'll fucking deal with you later, Baron. All right. We'll we'll, we'll find a way. Can we? Can we add this? No. Okay. Fine. The ladder. Hurry up! Move! Move! Fucking hard, hard, hard. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. Where, where are they? Open the main door. Where is the main door? Oh, Shizer. Where's the door? Am I being am I being dumb? Oh, this one. The main door. Old main door. Open the door. That was close. Okay, the horses are out. What about Oswin? The guy's was that the guy's brother? Is he okay? Miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? What the fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? Oh dear. Oh well, looks like we're fighting the Baron. Defeat the Baron in a fist they fight. I can probably do that. I think Foster you're the one that's fucking lying, you bastard. And you're getting wrecked as well, by the way. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you, Baron Von Wifebeater. Oh, boy. We need to talk. Yeah, we need to have a nice long chat. Also, why the fuck are the stables on fire? Who's why did, was it the Baron set them on fire? Why, for, for for what fucking purpose? Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Tamara. Tamari never laid a finger on, but Anna. Anna. That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Your wife. How'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup. Socks never darned. 
Twenty years we've known each other. She's seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day, but not today. I think you're missing the bulk of the problem here. Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place, ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. Well, I mean, if 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 he was if you were beating her mother up, I reckon there's probably a good a good chance that that's a big contributor to the reason why she's run off. To be fair, I do believe him when it comes to Tamara because obviously with the way that he treats uh, Grelka and Siri, well, I know Siri's not a child anymore, but she, but he does clearly have a fondness for kids. So I, I don't think he would have mistreated Tamara, but Anna, on the other hand, she's clearly been through a lot. You knew they'd run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? They didn't run away, you drove them out. Gotta yeah. admit, I do think you're a prick. Not because you couldn't control them, but because you drove them away. What? Don't play the idiot. You gave them no choice. Anna and I... It wasn't as it seemed. Seems. So tell me how it really was. Alright, I'm all ears. Tell me what happened. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. What well, the sounds of fighting in the room? Sounds of a fight yeah. in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? I. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar. Yeah, instead. that that checks out. I staggered backwards onto the table, spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. That sound like you got knocked the fuck out. Uh, Tamara witnessed this? Tamara present for all this? She see you quarrel? Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. What happened next? What happened next? Next. It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a ploughing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. Blood? I knew. Oh, she yeah. She was carried. 
breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenceless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Must have been a terrible sight. Seen a lot of dead in my time, but that must have been hard. Unspeakably so. My legs gave out. I saw fields of corpses at Sodden. Saw witches burn in Maribor. But compared to this, all that was a rabbit's prick alongside a great oak. And the guilt is all mine. We don't know that yet. The amulet and war could be linked somehow. Maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? Wrapped it in a clean sheet and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. <sighs> yeah, keep it together, man. Get hold of yourself. Men like you, when they break down, look down like I didn't mean it's a You're mean for it to come across like that. It. Christ alive. Mutations worked then. But here's the good news. Your dead child might help us find the one who's still alive. And your wife. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into fucking what? Let me explain, yeah. A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how? How does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual, and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Still not sure what to do. Whatever you decide, we must put an end to my child's suffering. Yeah, the child's been through too much. Yeah, okay. Where'd you bury the fetus? Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubricant, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. Huh. <laughs> this is true. Right, let's do this. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. <laughs> yeah. Do I take a shovel? To dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. I do feel somewhat sorry for, for uh, Philip, like... A bit further. Follow me. He's got a lot of explaining to do, but he didn't quite deserve this today, let's be honest. Alright. The Pellas Augurs showed the showed that the, the miscarried fetus, undoubtedly discarded without a proper burial, had transformed into a dangerous monster, botchling. The best was murderous and the beast was murderous and foul, but could yet do some good. If its curse could be lifted and the monster could be turned into a lubberkin. This latter being a friendly household guardian could lead Geralt to this Baron's wife and daughter. Geralt's bosom bawled with wrath as he went to confront the Baron. He was ready to drag the truth out of the man with the sword, force him to confess to what, what truly happened uh, that, that fateful night. A witcher in this state is even more effective than usual, so Geralt accompanied, accomplished this in short order. 
The Baron admitted that his wife had miscarried after one of their frequent rows and that she agreed that she and his daughter had fled cross perch. He also agreed to show Geralt where he had buried the miscarried child's remains when the clock struck midnight, both men set off to find the botchlinger's grave. Right, well on that note guys, uh, we shall end this episode here, so thank you all very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, and we shall hopefully be able to lift this curse in the next episode, so thank you again guys, and I'll catch you all in the next episode of The Witcher 3. Thanks again guys, have a wonderful day, bye bye.